good evening everyone <clears throat> today the topic that we have selected is estimation of hydrogen cylinders requirement for a hydrogenation process first of all before going into the calculation steps let's try to understand what is exactly hydrogenation means and what is the outcome of a hydrogenation reaction so basically hydrogenation is a process where hydrogen atoms is going to react with a subject element or a component most probably whenever there is a triple bond and the requirement is to reduce the triple bond to a double or single bond we need to perform hydrogenation using hydrogen pressure so it can be either a triple bond or double bond like uh, the alkynes will turn into alkenes and alkenes will turn into alkanes and during the course of hydrogenation it requires a catalyst so most of the times it's going to be ran nickel or the palladium carbon it will be usually used as a catalyst whenever a subject hydrogenation process is being carried out it requires a basic medium to maintain the health of a catalyst why because during the course of hydrogenation like if the reaction need to be performed for prolonged hours during the course of reaction if any acidic component liberation is there an in situ liberation in such a case it will try to deactivate the surface of the catalyst once the surface of the catalyst is being deactivated the reaction will get stopped hence to maintain the risk, the health of a catalyst usually we are be adding some basic mediums or basic substances into the reaction mass before proceeding with hydrogenation process to estimate the cylinder count there will be two requirements the first one is going to be the major requirement it's nothing but a the demand from the process and the second one is a minor requirement it's nothing but to maintain the pressure inside the autoclave today we are going to see how we are going to estimate the hydrogen cylinder requirements using simple formulas the first one is a minor requirement so the minor requirement is for maintaining the pressure inside the hydrogenator the second one is a major requirement this is for consumption purpose that is the component which we are going to hydrogenate it needs some hydrogen molecules the amount of hydrogen which is required by a specific component is nothing but a consumption or the process demand let's try to evaluate one by one coming to this major requirement let's say the component is a here we are going to hydrogen it with the hydrogen gas in the subject case i am not going to i am not going to consider any basic mediums here just for a explanation i'll be taking a simple reaction let's say the molecular weight of this subject a is 300 and here total 2 moles are required the molecular weight is going to be 4 that is 2 into 2 i am going to get a compound b the molecular weight of the subject compound is 304 g per mole these are the molecular weights and the next one is the batch consumptions the input quantities so here it is quantity in kg so the batch size is 90 kg
in order to estimate the theoretical consumption of hydrogen gas we need to first of all understand how many moles of component a is being reacted so it is nothing but weight divided by molecular weight it's 0.3 the same amount of moles are required for hydrogen so it is going to be 1.2 kg from this performed material balance the theoretical metal balance we can say 1.2 kg of hydrogen is required so we have evaluated about like we have done the detailed evaluation about the measure requirement using a theoretical material balance the major requirement is 1.2 kg of hydrogen and the next one is the minor requirement for this we need to check the facility here in this case i'll take the reactor capacity or the hydrogenator capacity as 6 kg the total operating volume is i'll take 50% occupancy divided by 0.5 sorry multiplied by 0.5 that is 3 kl now the overhead space is overhead space refers to the amount of volume like uh, the geometric volume minus the operating volume in this case the geometric volume let's say it is 6 kl and the operating volume is 3 kl the void space is going to be the capacity minus the operating volume it is 3 kl in this case i am going to build a pressure of 3 kg for performing the hydrogenation What is 3 kg? Now I need to understand what is the actual moles required in order to build 3 kg pressure inside the overhead space. So I will be using the formula PV equals to NRT. Here in this case, we don't know the temperature. So I'll be taking the temperature as 50 degrees. I'll be converting this degree centigrade into Kelvins. Now we know the pressure and the volume, we know the temperature. Coming to the universal gas constant R, it is 0 0.08314 and the units of this is liter atmosphere per gram mole Kelvin. To use this equation, I will be converting the hydrogen pressure requirement into atmospheres into standard atmospheres in order to do that i am going to multiply the hydrogen pressure with 0.9678 this is in atmospheres now so it is 2.9 Now let's use the equation 
with this number of moles equals to PV by RT. P is 2.9. V is 3 KL. I will be multiplying this 3 with 1000. By R is 8.0.8314. And the temperature is 323.15. It's almost 324 moles. To convert this moles into weight, I will be multiplying with molecular weight. H2 weight equals to 324 multiplied by 2. That is the molecular weight of hydrogen. From this we got the weight as 648 grams. Now let's try to see. Like We came to know about the major requirement and the minor requirement. The total hydrogen requirement is one point two kg plus six forty eight grams, six forty eight divided by thousand. It's almost one point eight five kgs. Now let's discuss about the hydrogen cylinders. We came to understand about the demand, the total demand. It is 1.85 kg. Now we need to supply, like we need to estimate the supply. Like how many grams of hydrogen will be contained in a single cylinder? The first thing that we need to see is what is the volume of a hydrogen cylinder usually this will be mentioned over the hydrogen cylinders it will be mentioned as water capacity it's nothing but the water holding capacity of a subject cylinder this is i am going to take based on my experience it is around 46.5 sorry 46.7 liter like i have mentioned the water holding capacity of the cylinders that I have handled and the cylinder pressure is going to be almost 150 kg per centimeter square here in this case I need to build a pressure of 3 kg per centimeter square on the autoclave automatically the 3 kg will be left inside the cylinder hence it will be considered as the datum the data pressure is 3 kg per centimeter square cage. The 3 kg is nothing but the leftover pressure inside the hydrogen cylinder. And the next one is we need to check the net pressure available for consumption. It's 150 minus 3. It's almost 147 kg per centimeter square cage. Now, again, the universal gas constant, it is going to be the same 0.08314 liter mos per per gram mole Kelvin. The temperature now we need, now we need to take the operating temperature, like the temperature inside the cylinder. I'll be consider, considering this as 30 degree centigrade and Kelvin's it is going to be if you know the exact temperature inside the cylinder then you can consider the same here as I don't know the exact temperature inside the cylinder I have mentioned it as 30 again we need to estimate the number of moles It is nothing but 
again the same PV equals to NRT here P is 147 I need to convert this P into atmospheres so I'll be multiplying this with 0.9678 and the next one is the volume it is 46.7 liter divide by R it is 0 0.08314 multiplied by the temperature now we got the number of moles now let's calculate the weight the H2 weight in each cylinder it is 263.6 multiplied with 2 the molecular weight so it's almost 527.2 grams per cylinder okay in terms of kg we will multiply with sorry divide with 1000 kg per cylinder now it is 0.527 or 53 kgs per cylinder we know the demand it is 1.85 kg and the supply is 0.53 now let's try to estimate the total cylinders requirement it's nothing but demand divide by supply 1.85 divided by 0.53 it's almost 3.5 so we can say it's approx 4 cylinders required in order to complete the reaction this is how we need to estimate the requirement of hydrogen cylinders if you need to perform or estimate any other cylinders like the nitrogen cylinders or something we can use the same procedure thanks for watching your videos if you like our content please subscribe apart from that we do have certain apps in play store which can be used in handy so you can check them here you can search it as pharma engineering these two are the apps one is to browse our website in short easily you can browse using this app and the second one is it will be containing different set of calculators almost it will be having 12 to 15 set of calculators inside which can be used easily we can consider this app as a pocket calculator for a chemical engineer or a process engineer who is working in pharmaceutical industry so thanks guys